Hello and welcome to Lukeen. In this video you will learn how to customize the Lukeen options in order to give you the best search experience possible. You will learn what each options tab is about, what all the different settings mean and when you should change them. You will also learn a little more about what Lukeen is capable of. In the order of appearance you will learn about the Index Schedule tab, the Index Details tab, the Search tab, the Outlook tab and the System tab. The first tab, called Index, was explained in our last video. If you want to skip one or several tabs, feel free to click on the index cards, which we show throughout the whole video on the right edge of the screen. You don't need to know about every single option. If a preference is skipped, this means that it is either self-explanatory or the majority of users will never need to touch it. The second tab in the options menu, called Index Schedule, allows you to specify when Lukeen is supposed to refresh the index after the initial index is built. First, you should leave Real-Time Indexing checked. That means your index will be updated whenever a file is altered, created or deleted. Second, you may want to customize how often the whole index should be refreshed. Only with the regularly updated index will the Keen be able to find anything you need. You can also configure the Keen to delete and rebuild your index completely at certain time intervals. While it never hurts to rebuild your index, usually it is not necessary. And finally, you can define that Lukeen is only allowed to perform indexing within a certain time interval each day. For example, whenever you are not working, to make sure Lukeen uses up none of your PC's resources when you need them. Unlike don't perform index from, start indexing only between means the indexing process will not be paused at the endpoint you define here. Instead, it will continue until your index is completely updated. On the next tab, Index Details, you can specify more detailed preferences for your index. At the top, you can look up and change where your index is saved. You can also see how many elements the index contains at the moment. Usually, you don't need to change anything here. With the button Clear Index, you can delete the index completely. Below Index Files with Extensions, you can see a list of file formats Lukeen will index by default. You can already see all kinds of document and picture formats here. If you also want Lukeen to find, say, mp3 audio files, just add a white space and the letters mp3 to the list and Lukeen will index mp3 files as well. Or even easier, add an asterisk to the list. This way Lukeen will index any file type, provided the according iFilter is installed on your PC. If you notice Lukeen doesn't find the file format you added to the list, you need to download and install the according iFilter. Several websites offer free iFilters. Just type iFilter download and then the desired file extension, in this example mp3, into your favorite search engine and you should find some results quickly. Instructions on how to install the iFilter can usually be found on the download page. The slider below allows you to set speed of the indexing process. Leave this as is or set it even higher to accelerate indexing. If you should notice your PC responds slowly during the indexing process, you can still lower the indexing speed. Higher values in Maximum Characters in Preview mean a larger part of the document or email you search for can be seen in the Preview window. However, it will not have any effect if you switch to Preview Mode to Original Document. In any case, Lukeen indexes every word within your documents, so changing this number will not affect your search results. Higher values may slow down indexing a little bit. In the tab Search, you can find various settings to customize your search experience individually. For most users, the default settings should be satisfactory. But maybe you want Lukeen to display more search results. If you search for a keyword that brings up many results and what you search for is not displayed or not displayed completely, entering a higher number below the maximum results setting probably already solves the problem and all search results will be displayed. In the Outlook tab, you can define settings specifically for Outlook. If you deactivate Index Attachments and activate Skip Junk and Deleted folders, Lukeen will need less time indexing, but you may not find everything you're looking for. Skip Encrypted Items will make sure Lukeen can perform indexing without interruption. Note that Signed Emails also qualify as encrypted items. If you are not certain that you need to look into encrypted files, leave this option activated. Otherwise, you'll have to manually confirm that Lukeen is allowed to access encrypted files during indexing. While Lukeen is waiting for your permission, indexing is paused. 
If you activate Detect New Outlook Archives when Outlook starts, Lukeen will search automatically for new Outlook Archives whenever you start Outlook. If you don't add Outlook Archives regularly, it is recommended to leave this unchecked since it can prolong the time Outlook needs to start. The System tab contains several more advanced options. It is important for administrators to know where the Lukeen settings file is stored. Typically, you want to export the settings bin to all the PCs in an organization to make sure each user's Lukeen is configured identically. This way, you only have to configure Lukeen once. The network blacklist prevents Lukeen from starting the indexing process whenever it is connected to a network you put on the blacklist. I'd like to give you an example to illustrate how the blacklist can be used. Imagine Lukeen is installed on a laptop that you use in office as well as at home. Your home network is quite slow, while the network at your office is fast. Your business emails are stored only on your company's exchange server, and there is no local copy on your laptop. Obviously, whenever Lukeen refreshes your index, it would use up precious bandwidth while connecting to the exchange server. Using your fast office connection, this is not an issue, but once you're at home, you'll notice that Lukeen takes a lot longer to index, which can slow down your work with Outlook and Lukeen. If you want to prevent this or similar problems, just click Choose Networks while you're connected to the slow network, in my example at home, and click Yes. You can add multiple networks by separating the network names with a semicolon. You can disable the entire blacklist temporarily by unticking the checkbox. Or take one or all the networks off the list permanently by selecting the network name and hitting Delete on your keyboard. Here you can also access your log file, which is a documentation of every action Lukeen performed since installation or since you last cleared the log. This can be useful if you are in contact with a support team and are asked to send your log file, or if you want to do some troubleshooting yourself. It is strongly recommended to leave Check for Updates on, only this way you can be sure that Lukeen is patched to the newest version. And that was the last option you need to know about. That was a quick explanation of the Lakeen options. If this video helped you find your way around the Lakeen options better, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If some of your questions are still unanswered, you can check the user manual or our collection of frequently asked questions on the Lakeen homepage. You will find the links in the description below. Alternatively, fill out the support form at the link provided below or simply leave a comment on this video. We'd be happy to help. Thank you for watching this how to customize Lukeen options video.